Hello, this is Brandon with Billiards and Darts Direct, and I'm responding to a YouTube subscriber, NVLE5, on um, English, wants to know uh, how to adjust for English uh, for the shots for his aiming. So I'm going to show you a very simple way of doing that, and just uh, you get on a pool table like this, and uh, I have a line on this one right now, you don't necessarily need a line. But you should put some kind of a marker. You can use a piece of chalk. Just put it in the center of the table, best you can. I usually put it behind the diamond. And just put the cue ball in the middle of the table. And you're going to have to learn on your stroke, because everybody's stroke, we all do it differently. So this is a good way of showing you how to adjust your aiming for English. Now the shaft depends on it, the cue depends on it, everything depends on your English, okay? So whatever you're using and playing with, you have to adjust to. So if I'm just gonna use right English, and I'm trying to aim straight at it, now I'm just gonna parallel shift. I'm gonna go center of the cue ball, parallel shift over, okay? Still aiming straight. So I can see that it went off to the left. Well, however much that goes off to the left, I just need to aim that much over. So if I'm here, I parallel shift, well, I already know that it's going to go off about a half inch, so I just aim over about a half inch. And you can see that that was almost perfect. Now you do this with every kind of English. So if I want to use high right, see it was just a little off to the left. Well, I just need to aim a little off to the left. Or I'm sorry, a little bit off to my right. So I can compensate. Now I'm dead center. So depending on how hard you hit that, Every time you hit a shot, slow, medium, hard, it changes that English. So you really have to teach yourself on how much it changes it. Now, there are all different ways of doing this as well. That's a real simple, basic way of doing it. You can also get a, um, uh, an upgraded shaft that lowers your deflection, so you don't have to work so hard at figuring that out. That's the best way of doing it. But if you want to learn how to do it, you have to adjust to your playing style. And this is the accurate way of doing it. If you just throw out balls and, and uh, test English on it, it's never going to be the same every time. So you need to get an accurate way of measuring it first, like this, and then start hitting balls and using it. This is Brandon with Billiards and Darts Direct, and that's my tip for the day.